every time you turn on the TV, half the commercials are for, for foods. Of course, the other half are for medications to undo the effects of foods. I did not intend to get into this at all. Um, I went to medical school at the George Washington University and I was in practice in New York City and I started to realize that in medicine we don't do anything to prevent illness. We don't, we don't do anything to stop a heart attack until it comes into the emergency room door. And I thought that's not right. We need to intervene a little bit ahead of time. And so I started this group, the Physicians Committee, to have doctors to weigh in on these kinds of things. The year before I went to medical school, I had a job in a hospital in Minneapolis. I was working down in the basement in the morgue. And whenever anybody died, my job was to help the pathologist do the autopsy. And one day he was examining a body of a man who had died of a heart attack. And he cut a big chunk of ribs off the chest to show me the heart, which was filled with atherosclerotic plaque. And he showed me the carotid arteries to the brain. They had the same process, and it was frightening. And at the end of the exam, my job was to put the ribs back in the chest and sew up the skin and everything. And when I was done, I went up to the cafeteria and they were serving ribs for lunch. And I gotta tell you, it smelled like the dead body and it looked like a dead body and I realized it is a, <laughs> it is a dead body. This planted a seed that made me realize that what we eat and what affects our health, our, these things are intimately related. Food really is medicine, except all the side effects are good ones. So we can not just improve your diabetes, sometimes we can make it go away. And while that's happening, you're losing weight, your cholesterol's falling, your, your blood pressure is getting better, your energy is better, your digestion sorts itself out. And all of these things happen at the same time. So we're really entering a, a totally new age where medicine is going to be practiced completely differently. I think the medical profession could be forgiven for having neglected nutrition because for years the diets that were being prescribed really didn't do much. Switch from beef to chicken and your diabetes doesn't really get better and your cholesterol doesn't fall very much and you don't lose much weight and so doctors lost interest in it. That was before the modern age when we've been doing research studies to show that food changes can reverse heart disease, they can reverse diabetes, they can make weight loss powerful and a one-way street. And now we can't afford to neglect this anymore. Some people might wonder if a person is going to refuse to change until they've really just hit rock bottom. I have to say, I think everybody's a little bit different. There are some people who are not going to give up the steak until the price becomes really pretty high in terms of their personal health. But there are other people who get nervous. They saw a family member maybe suffer from diabetes uh, or rheumatoid arthritis. They don't want that for themselves. They don't want it for their children. You know, we're surrounded by temptation all the time. I don't mean just on the restaurant menu. Every time you turn on the TV, half the commercials are for, for foods. Of course, the other half are for medications to undo the effects of foods. If you go to a gas station to fill up your tank, you can't even check out of there before you've seen all these candies and potato chips and everything. Everybody is selling unhealthy foods to you. However, my answer to that is don't worry about that. Focus just on the short term. You don't have to say to yourself, for the rest of my life, I'm never going to have another whatever it is. We're going to focus on the short term. Stick with it for now. It gets easier and easier and pretty soon. You are so glad that you have made this change.